This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verses 10 to 17. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. The disciples came up and asked, "Why do you tell stories?" He replied, "You've been given insight into God's kingdom. You know how it works. Not everybody has this gift, this insight. It hasn't been given to them. Whenever someone has a ready heart for this, the insights and the understandings flow freely. But if there's no readiness, any trace of receptivity soon disappears. That's why I tell stories to create readiness." to nudge the people towards a welcome awakening in their present state they can stare till doomsday and not see it listen till they're blue in the face and not get it i don't want isaiah's forecast repeated all over again your ears are open but you do not hear a thing your eyes are awake but you don't see a thing the people are stupid they stick their fingers in their ears so they won't have to listen they screw their eyes shut so they won't have to look so they won't have to deal with me face to face and let me heal them but you have god blessed eyes eyes that see and god blessed ears ears that hear a lot of people prophets and humble believers among them would have given anything to see what you are seeing to hear what you are hearing but never had a chance the gospel of the lord The world's noises stop us from hearing God's voice. Our faith and understanding are gifts of the Holy Spirit that enable us to hear God's word and love him and his people better. Jesus told the parable of the sower, describing all the different kinds of grounds that seeds fall on. The roots some sprout grow quickly and wither away, but the roots of others are deep. and they grow and flourish in the end taking root in the gospel can take time the prophet isaiah predicted that some would hear god's word but not receive and some would see god's actions but remain unconvinced jesus would express the same concern with his disciples that not everyone would understand his parables jesus words were not hard to understand intellectually but their hearts were closed to what he said the secret of god's kingdom can only be revealed to the humble and trusting individual who acknowledges the need for god and for his truth ironically some of jesus greatest skeptics were learned scribes and pharisees who boasted of their knowledge of the scriptures especially the torah Despite hearing Jesus' parables and seeing his great signs and miracles, they did not accept him or his message. Is it possible that this carpenter's son would know more about God and his word than these experts who have spent their lives studying and teaching the law of Moses? We too will hear and not understand and see but not perceive. God's word if we approach it with indifference, skepticism and disbelief. Do we look without seeing? Do we hear without understanding? The parable of Jesus challenges us to get out of our laziness. Our minds are easily distracted by too much information and images without any insight. We spend hours dealing with trivial matters but fail to hear God's voice. Holy Spirit, be our teacher and guide. Open our ears to hear God's word and open our eyes to understand God's actions in our lives. May our hearts never grow dull and may our ears never tire of hearing Christ's voice.